Welcome back to the show. My next guest is teen correspondent Jade Goodnow, and she has been out and about in Brevard County to do some research about homecoming. Welcome, Jade. Thank you. It's great to be back, Angela. It's always a pleasure, and I had noticed something when I moved here about a decade ago that the teens in the fall as well as the spring have uh, quite a bit of pomp and circumstance, if you will, in the fall. So tell us a little bit about some of the homecoming traditions here in Brevard County for the teenagers. Well, homecoming is an annual tra tradition in the United States. And um, it originally started with colleges such as the University of Illinois and the University of Missouri in 1910. And it's basically the welcoming back of alumni and um, so they can unite with current students to kind of create a stronger sense of school pride. And um, it includes many activities such as parades and barbecues and pep rallies. And um, the week usually starts with a spirit week where students can dress up every day as a different theme, such as sports day, where they dress up as their favorite sports team, or movie day, and um, usually the last day, the same day as the football game, is school spirit day, so. Mm -hmm. And so now, um, there are around half a dozen high schools in Brevard County, maybe a few more, we're counting the private schools, and now you go to a private high school. Yes, um, I do. And so, uh, in your research, did you find that the private high schools and the public high schools are pretty in sync with their traditions as far as homecoming? Yes, they both have the, um, the basic homecoming traditions. They have the homecoming core and the dance, which is probably the most important part. But um, yeah, basically they're the same. Okay, and of course now you, you did a good job of going out into the community and I'm gonna call it the guys and the dolls. Mm -hmm. And first off, the guys, obviously football. Uh, that's mm -hmm. that's what this this centers around is is the the sports and even though we don't have maybe the crisp fall weather that uh, our northern counterparts do um, we still um, go out into the um, you know and, and it kind of centers around the uh, the football game but also um, there is a dance um, mm -hmm. but the guys still um, there is the football game the same night typically or or is that a different time than Obviously, it's not going to be the same time as the dance, right. but is it the same week, or how, how is that coordinated? It is the football game is the Friday night before the homecoming dance, which is on the Saturday night. And um, it's a very exciting event because it's on the homecoming football or the home field, and it's usually versus a big rival school. And the football team prepares really hard that week because they always want to win their homecoming football game. Mm -hmm. Now, something again, I, I'm uh, from, from uh, a northern state, but I can remember back when we had homecoming, uh, the uh, the football players would escort the court, the ladies would be all mm -hmm. dressed up, and then the guys would be in their football uniforms. Um, is this still um, how it's done here in, in Florida? Uh, um, sometimes it's hard for the football players to escort the court. Um, just because they're, you know, focused in the game. But um, a lot of the times the homecoming court is queened earlier that day during the pep rally at school. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone gets excited for the homecoming court. Um, it's originally started as a tradition for just seniors, but now other grades, 9 through 11, get involved as well. Mm -hmm. And if anyone has been to any of the major shopping meccas um, here in Brevard County from September through November, they will find whether you're trying to uh, go to a hairdresser, a nail salon, mm -hmm. um, any place like that, um, a dress shop, that uh, basically you're, you're taking a back seat to uh, girls, again, 14 mm -hmm. to 18. So if you can kind of tell us a little bit about what the dolls do or, or the ladies ladies um, to prepare um, for homecoming? Well, the ladies definitely have a more preparation than the guys do. Um, we call it the stresses of the dresses. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, some girls go out and buy their dresses as early as summertime, just so they don't have to worry about it. And then the day of the homecoming dance, they get their hair done and their nails done, and it's an all-day thing to prepare. I was amazed uh, at the expense, and again, um, this is also repeated in the springtime, mm -hmm. uh, when again there's there's prom season, and even the junior high girls get into the into the act. Mm -hmm. But again, you bring up the point that I mean, it it actually I guess in one way it, it's stressful for the parents who have to pay for this, mm -hmm. but I, I would think it's a little bit of a, a good thing for the economy locally mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of expense. Uh, I I know some go out to um, to dinner. There's mm -hmm 
-hmm. corsage is bought, um, you know, tuxes rented, um, you know, limos and, and, and the dresses. Now, mm -hmm. uh, you talked about stresses of the dresses. Um, is there any particular style? How do girls pick out what they're going to wear? Well, homecoming is usually called semi-formal, which is usually like cocktail dresses. And, but some go long or short, whatever they prefer. Some, you know, like to be more formal because I guess they only take the opportunity is to dress up once a year. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and Isabella's locally has a wide selection of dresses. They also have jewelry, shoes, and accessories. So, mm -hmm. so you went down and uh, checked out some of their lovely um, things. Mm -hmm. And I, um, from what I could tell is a lot of these um, uh, places, it, it's kind of interesting um, in that they maybe write down um, who purchased what, uh, mm -hmm. so the same girls will not show up in, in the same dress. So um, it's almost uh, like um, a competition, if you will. Mm -hmm. you, don't, uh, you, you wouldn't dare be caught in the same dress as somebody else at your school. Mm -hmm. um, so was that something that you found um, you want to show up in something unique? Oh yes, yeah. you definitely want to be individual and a lot of girls do go to Isabella's because of that policy, so it's very mm -hmm. helpful. So, so as we close out, what, what did you, um, uh, what stood out in your mind, now you're a senior, what stood mm -hmm. out in your mind um, in your years of, of homecoming, participation and observation? Um, well, I just love homecoming because the whole school comes together and just shows that school spirit and brings everyone together out for the football game. Even people that don't even like football or don't usually go will come out and just support your school. Mm -hmm. So again, it's something that um, both the guys um, who mm -hmm. play the sports and the girls who keep up with the, the fashion. So it's a, a good time mm -hmm. for um, the guys and the girls. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, there's something for everyone. Okay, Jade. Well, I want to thank you so much for being out on the beat in Brevard County. <laughs> Thanks you for having me. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with what's going on after this break.